Thank you for watching this video. Please click on the like and subscribe buttons so that I can continue to make more videos like this. This video was made in the studio rather than on a construction site for several reasons. First, a construction site has a lot of noise, dirt, and dust which would interfere with the filming. Also on a job site, there are other people doing their jobs who would have to enter our area. In order to compensate for this, we have had to use some stage situations with some props. The thing to keep in mind is that these types of bends that we're doing today will be used in everyday work and that the techniques and calculations are still the same. In this lesson, we will be demonstrating various techniques for bending EMT with a hand bender. The primary aim in bending conduit in this manner is to make a bend that fits on the first attempt. That should be your goal with every bend. Always strive for excellence this way. Keep in mind that if your pipe is bent properly, it will be much easier to install. It will also be easier much later to pull the wire. In fact, this is a key concept that you should keep in mind for any job you do. Always try to make it as easy as possible for the person who has to follow your work to do their job. Oftentimes, that person is going to be you. Now, let's look at some benders, okay? Hand benders come in four sizes. There are the half inch, three quarter inch, one inch, and the inch and a quarter. Now I've got a three quarter inch bender here. So let's take a closer look at some of the markings on the bender. Okay, we've got the arrow mark, we've got the saddle mark, this little notch here, we've got the star. Now benders also have markings on them for the most commonly used angles. These are 10 degrees, 22 degrees, 30 degrees, 45 degrees, and 60 degrees. Let's start with bending a simple 90 degree angle. We will be using a 3 quarter inch bender for this. We're going to make a mark 10 inches from the end of our conduit. Now a tip here when you're marking your conduit is to make a precise mark and not a big fat one because little widths of the markings that you make on the pipe can add up and throw off your final measurement. Also, we're going to use a marker in this video because it shows up much better. However, you may want to use a pencil when you're working in the field so it doesn't show up, especially on exposed work where someone's going to be able to see it. So let's go ahead and mark our pipe now. Like we said, we're going to make our mark 10 inches from the end of the conduit. So we're going to place the arrow mark of the bender on our mark. Okay, we've got the arrow on our mark. Now the technique that we want to use in bending is steady foot pressure all the time. So we're going to put steady pressure on, we'll just start bending our conduit. Now we're not going to get in a hurry, we're just going to work nice and smoothly. My left hand is here just for balance right now. I'm not really pulling with it. It's just for balance. Okay, now I can see that I'm getting close to being vertical with this. So I'm going to put my level on it and take a look, check it. And I see that I have to go a little bit farther to be level. So. Getting close. I want to. I want to check that again because I think I'm pretty close to it. And I'm right on 90 degrees. So I can, I can see that we're level. So the next thing I want to do now is to measure it with my tape measure. And let's see what the result is. by measuring that I have a stub that is 16 inches long. Thank you for watching this video. Please click on the like and subscribe buttons so that I can continue to make more videos like this. If you find this video helpful, please consider donating using the PayPal link below. Thank you.